and Polk County health officials are hoping Iowa families stay safe during the holidays, even if it means leaving some family members out. WHO 13's Justin Serency joins us now. Justin, the holidays have people rushing to get vaccinated and tested. Yeah, Aaron, there was a steady line of vehicles filing into the Polk County Health Department vaccination site today, many citing upcoming holiday gatherings within the next few weeks. Health officials say questioning a family member's vaccination status may be uncomfortable, but it may be necessary to save Iowa from another surge. With two vaccinations and a booster to grandmother's house they go. I feel like it's a public service, like we should do this. We can get vaccinated and we should make sure that we're safe and that we're keeping people around us safe. Iowans filed in line at the Polk County Health Department in Des Moines Tuesday to get COVID vaccines and boosters ahead of the new year. As we've always talked in our family, it's about, you know, doing what we can to help others and protect others, and that's one way to stop the transmission. Brad Jacobson from Urbandale says their family Christmas gathering stance was simple. We're going to visit grandparents, and everybody has been vaccinated and boosted. It may not be as easy for other families to get everyone on board with vaccinations, but Polk County Public Health Communications Office Officer Nola Eigner Davis says when it comes to the pandemic, it should be. If they have a positive test or they're not willing to get tests and they're not willing to get vaccinated, I think it's okay to say let's wait and celebrate another time. The discussion may be difficult, but Eigner Davis says it doesn't mean you're cutting off a family member from future events. We know that there are people in our family, children under five, individuals who are medically fragile that are unable to get vaccinated. The most important thing that you can do for your family, friends, and loved ones is keep them safe and healthy this holiday season. As of Monday, over 85% of patients in Iowa ICUs were not fully vaccinated. With Christmas and New Year's gatherings upon us, Polk County health officials say the only barrier between decreasing those numbers or a knockout blow to local hospitals is getting in line and getting vaccinated. Our hospitals are struggling. They are understaffed, they have under resources, they do not have beds. We cannot keep doing this to our hospital system. We cannot keep doing this and think that if we are sick, we will get optimal care. I am here for a booster. For those in line, the reason for vaccination season should always be about the gift of giving others a fighting chance against COVID. We know we're around people all the time that may or may not be vaccinated or that may or may not be sick. And so I think it's just important to be thoughtful, not just about yourselves, but about others. The Polk County Public Health Department continues to have take home tests available, but results for those can take up to 48 hours. Now, their vaccination site on Carpenter Avenue is open through Thursday this week from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. To schedule a vaccination or booster appointment, visit www.immunizepolk.com. They make it so easy. Yes. All right. Thanks, Justin.